Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out what messages want to come through for you. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Here we go, you get three cards. So, by the book, flexible and community. This is an interesting combination because the by the book energy is about the importance that we can recognize to the ability of doing things in the proper way by paying the right amount of attention and focus but at the same time the flexible energy is an encouragement to adapt depending on the kind of situation that you may face and this can be an ability that some of you have learned along your journey throughout the experiences and the community energy is about your inner circle of persons for example someone that uh, may know you extremely well and that can be able to recognize and testify in some sense your abilities and maybe someone can see their interest towards you growing because of your virtues and so let's see what the tarot has to say about this combination Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus let's see all right the nine of pentacles wanted to come out I will give you three more cards guys so single energy here we go knight of wands king of cups death energy and knight of cups bottom of the deck so um, allow me to say this um, because of the death card which I personally love um, we have a transformation and considering the single energy offered by the uh, nine of pentacles um, from single to uh, committed I would like to say for some of you because there is someone that uh, truly may see you um, as an amazing person and they can be extremely passionate about you but there is a maturity that you can share because of the King of Cups and the uh, Nine of Pentacles and we have a romantic gesture that can be the opportunity to share feelings and love with a special someone some of you may have um, a person in mind uh, others of you may be extremely confident in your single status but possibly pay the right amount of attention to the persons around you because someone uh, may have a desire to um, build a connection with you and so uh, let's go through these energies um, beautiful nine of pentacles independent lady primary source of her own satisfaction this can be true for some of you absolutely she can take care of all her needs she doesn't need anything from anyone no interest whatsoever in codependent connections um, absolutely at the same time an open approach to the chance of encounter a fair companion as I usually say someone that can match frequencies aspirations uh, someone that can share values you know so this is extremely positive then I will go 
to the King of Cups, emotional maturity. Um, the King has mastered everything about his emotional side, he knows everything about feelings. For me, sometimes he can struggle a little bit with the communication part because um, all these feelings are so deep that they need to be brought up to the surface in order to be shared properly. That's why the Knight of Cups can be extremely helpful because this is a romantic gesture that comes from someone like the Knight that uh, is in touch with his heart, he pays attention to what his heart tells him to do and for this very reason he can be extremely comfortable when it comes to share meaningful cup of love with a special someone. Then there is a touch of passion, guys, Knight of Wands. Um, an energy that is fired up in order to move towards a goal that is important. I would also like to add a further note about the fact that for some of you, uh, you may be highly sought after, considering the single status, and you may have options. And so it seems that someone can channel a Knight of Wands more fiery energy um, and possibly another individual may be more comfortable when it comes to um, speak about feelings and love. King of Cups kind of strengthened by the Knight of Cups. And so this can be... Um, a factor for some of you then that energy as was saying I love the death card it's an opportunity to sweep away leftovers from the past so that we can leave an open field on an energy level and start manifesting new things more in alignment with wishes and desires this is a revolutionary change that's why I was saying that the feeling was about from single to committed because it is a transformation of course that can take place uh, in the everyday life. Six of Wands uh, wanted to show up, so um, victory, success moving forward. Recognition also, so uh, possibly there is a factor about someone that can recognize um, a person and kind of understand that um, they can be a fair companion this is lovely. So let's go and clarify these energies. Let's see what we can get. All right, here we go, here we go. All right. Ace of Swords. Nine of Cups. Seven of Cups. The Sun, my goodness. And the Death uh, card showing up again. So uh, further confirmation for me, guys. A revolution towards happiness, possibly in a love connection that can be the one able to rise from the cloud full of options this is meaningful and so for those of you that may uh, have to choose for example between uh, two possible partners evaluate all the aspects um, do not focus only on one um, characteristic, for example, but consider the whole picture, the bigger picture, because the Seven of Cups is an energy about um, a man that is frizzed up in front of a, of a big cloud full of options, and this man is kind of thinking, will this choice be positive for me? Will this um, decision turn out to be a good one for me so and with the king of cups there is a focus about the emotional maturity that can be brought in in favor of a love connection great clarity ace of swords clarity of the mind truth be spoken being in alignment with um, the higher self wishes desires where a person would love to be moving forward it is beautiful to see the ace of swords with the um, nine of pentacles lady because 
it is all about uh, shining bright and being able to say things for what they truly are so if a partnership is um, interesting for you you can speak in its favor and if it is not something that you want to pursue you will say no thanks and you will move forward but we are talking about a wish granted um, with the nine of cups so if the passion offered by the knight of wands is channeled by your special person and you do not have choices uh, to make you can get your wish by pursuing the connection with this mature individual that can match your aspirations if you have a choice to make pay attention to all the factors involved and then trust your art trust your intuition in some sense and kind of trying to match uh, passion and feelings so that you can get a wish you know happiness is at your hand with the sun energy um, it's a transformation towards happiness because the sun is the happiest card in the deck we can agree of course fulfillment satisfaction absolutely but this is also an energy about the self so happiness that starts from within and the the lady in the nine of pentacles she is happy with herself that's why she can call in someone else that can be in alignment with these very high frequencies and then this inner happiness can be shared with a special someone even reaching a higher level even more and so um, this is quite an amazing flow because um, it is about someone that um, you know because of the community energy so a circle of persons that can be near to you to some of you there is an interest in doing things in the proper way by the book the flexible energy um, i feel can be uh, particularly important for those of you that may have to choose for example and so you need to understand um, kinda where you can find the um, the more appropriate balance for you within a love partnership because it can make all the difference you know despite the passion despite the attraction the physical attraction all right all positive all good but uh, again take a look at the bigger picture because you can display your clarity in a way that can pay off in a big way especially if you have to make a choice if you have already one person in mind try to understand as you can try to understand the way that you can manifest this love connection towards um, success because you can achieve it it will be um, a revolution because again from single to committed it's quite a meaningful uh, factor in this reading and so this is lovely i would like to say i will leave it at that guys i truly hope it was helpful i'll uh, continue on vimeo see you there if you want to join me the link is below let us know if you resonate leave a comment like share and subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye